Georgia has 357 watershed dams in the state, most of which are owned and co-sponsored by the Soil and Water Conservation Districts. In all, 23 of Georgia's 40 Soil and Water Conservation Districts own dams. These are only a portion of the more than 4,000 dams that are located in Georgia. My name is Brent Dykes. I'm the Executive Director of the Georgia Soil and Water Conservation Commission. We're a state agency that works with landowners to preserve and protect the natural resources of our state. And today we're here to talk about watershed dams. When people think of dams, images of massive concrete dams such as the Hoover Dam on the Colorado River come to mind. The dams found in Georgia are smaller, but perform an equally important service to the citizens of Georgia. All dams have a common purpose. They hold back water. In the case of watershed dams, they hold back water to prevent flooding. Georgia, like most states, has experienced repeated cycles of drought and subsequent flood. Each year, valuable farmland can be lost due to heavy rains that results in flooded fields. Beginning in the 1930s, with the passage of the Flood Control Act of 1936, the U.S. Department of Agriculture Soil Conservation Service, now the Natural Resources Conservation Service, began watershed investigations to determine the most effective methods to control erosion and prevent floods. Research showed that successful soil and water conservation required addressing resource concerns at the watershed scale. With financial support from the USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service, local soil and water conservation districts in Georgia began in the 1950s to build flood control dams that would prevent flooding of agricultural land. Our watershed planning was a big part of what, at the time, the Soil Conservation Service did. And certainly over 350 of these structures have been constructed across the state of Georgia. Since that time, with rapid population growth in Georgia, much of the land originally used as farmland now has been built up with houses, roads, office buildings, and other structures. Dams do their job of preventing flooding by temporarily storing flood water after rainstorms and slowly releasing it through a pipe in the dam. Watershed dams typically have a concrete inlet in a lake in front of the dam that is connected to a spillway pipe extending through the dam. In normal operation, a principal spillway pipe out in the center of the lake controls the level of the lake for normal everyday use. When a major flooding event occurs, the water in the dam will rise, come through the chute spillway, and down the concrete without causing any downstream erosion or downstream flooding. The goal is to prevent the water in the lake from reaching the top of the dam and overtopping it, which can cause the dam to fail. Most watershed dams in Georgia are earthen dams, but it should not be assumed that because they are made of earth that they are not complex engineered structures. While USDA supplied the funds to build the dams originally, they did so with the understanding that local communities would take responsibility for maintaining the dams. As these dams age, they need maintenance and eventual rehabilitation to prevent them from failing. Georgia knows the consequences of dam failures. In 1977, the Kelly Barnes Dam failed in Toccoa Falls, Georgia. As a result, 39 students and staff at a college below the dam were killed by the resulting flooding, and about $2.5 million in damages occurred. Because dams are complex, engineered structures, Eventually, even a well-maintained dam will need parts of it to be rebuilt to prolong their useful life. Rehabilitation of dam structures can involve construction of new spillways to replace old concrete and pipe. This is South River 29 here in Madison County, Georgia, up in northeast Georgia. We spent approximately $1.9 million of state bond funding to update this structure to new engineering standards. A new spillway was built, the dam structure itself was improved, and new grass was sown. With continued maintenance and rehabilitation, these dams can continue to hold back floodwaters for many more decades. State safety experts believe that more than 40% of Georgia's flood control dams would result in probable loss of human life if they suddenly release their water due to improper operation or dam failure. The average flood control dam in Georgia is more than 50 years old. The average cost to rehabilitate a dam is more than $1.5 million. This compares to the estimated $24 million in annual benefits provided by flood control dams in Georgia according to the USDA NRCS. Some key points to remember about watershed structures in Georgia. 150 flood control dams in Georgia are classified as Category 1 by the state of Georgia where improper operation or dam failure could result in the probable loss of human life. 15 Category 1 flood control dams have undergone rehabilitation. 135 Category 1 flood control dams are in need of rehabilitation. For more information on watershed flood control dams in Georgia, contact the Georgia Soil and Water Conservation Commission.